Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My beloved brothers and sisters, today inshallah ta'ala I wanted to share a benefit with you all from the book Igathatul Lahfan fi Masayid al-Shaytan written by Al-Imam Abi Abdullahi Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr ibn Ayyub ibn Qayyim al-Jawziya. And the publication that I'm going to rely on is Dar Alam al-Fawaid. And it's two volume book. And uh, uh, Ibn al-Qayyim speaks about in this book the deceptions of shaitan and how he plots and plans uh, against the children of Adam. So this book is very beneficial. It's one book I believe students of knowledge should give time to and try to read and study it. Inshallah ta'ala, I'm currently in the middle of preparing uh, a refutation on the atheists. So I'm gathering benefits from books. So sometimes I uh, will share those benefits with you, inshallah ta'ala, uh, even that though I'm going to be using it for a refutation that I'm going to be soon doing regarding atheism. So this book, inshallah ta'ala, as I said, is Iratatul Lahfan fi Masayid al-Shaytan, written by Ibn al-Qayyim. The volume is the first volume, inshallah ta'ala, and uh, the page, inshallah ta'ala, that we're going to be taking today is um, page... Uh, 186 okay and you can see the uh, highlighted uh, and I put brackets uh, in it uh, so inshallah ta'ala that's what we're going to be taking today inshallah benefit from that and it's regarding the issue of the fitrah the natural disposition okay the fitrah so inshallah ibn al-qayyim says uh, he was speaking about something so he says and the meaning to this is and Allah Ta'ala that Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala Fatara ibadahu that Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala He placed an innate natural, natural disposition in His creation Ala al-fitrati sali mustaqima And this fitra, this natural disposition Is actually um, It's steadfast, it's correct So Wahiya uh, millatul Islam And what it is is that it's the religion of Al-Islam كما قال تعالى as Allah says فأقم وجهك للدين حنيفا فطرة الله التي فطر الناس عليها لا تبديل لخلق الله ذلك الدين القيم ولكن أكثر الناس لا يعلمون منيبين إليه واتقوه Allah says in this verse so direct your face towards the religion inclining to the truth adhering to the fitrah of Allah upon which he has created all people no change should there be in the creation of Allah that is the correct that is the correct religion but most of the people they do not know so then the Shaykh Rahimahullah he brings the statement of the messenger وَلِهَذَا قَالَ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ and because of that the Prophet said مَا مِنْ مَوْلُودٌ مَا مِنْ مَوْلُودٍ إِلَّا يُولَدُ عَلَى الْفِطْرَةِ فَأَبَوَاهُ يُهَوِّدَانِهِ وَيُنَصِّرَانِهِ وَيُمَجِّسَانِهِ كما تنتج البهيمة بهيمة جمعة هل تحسون فيها من جدعة حتى تكونوا أنتم تجدعونها ثم قرأ أبو هريرة فطرة الله التي فطر الناس عليها متفق عليه أبو هريرة narrated that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said no child is born but Allah but has the Islamic faith so there's no child born you see uh, based on the hadith it says مَامِن مَوْلُودٍ there is no child born illa uh, yuladu ala al but has he but he has been born with the islamic faith you see but his its parents but his parents turn him into a jew or a christian it is as you help the animals give birth do you find among their offspring a mutilated one before you mutilate them yourselves then Abu Huraira, he recited the ayah, "Fitrat Allah alati fatar al-nas alayha," which is what we read the first. Um, we just read uh, right now in Surah Al-Rum, which is adhere to the fitrah of Allah upon which He has created uh, all people. Then Ibn Al-Qayyim says, "Fajma alayhi, fajma al Nabiyyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bain al-amrayni." تغيير الفطرة بالتهويد والتنصير وتغيير الخلقة بالجدع 
وهما الأمران اللذان أخبر إبليس أنه لا بد أن يغيرهما فغير فطرة الله بالكفر وهو تغيير الخلقة التي خلقوا عليها وغير الصورة بالجدع والبتك فغير الفطرة بالشرك والخلقة بالبتك والقطع فهذا تغيير خلقة الروح وهذا تغيير خلقة الصورة Ibn al-Qayyim says that and he's referring to the previous verse which he brought from the previous page which is وَلَآمُرَنَّهُمْ وَلَأُمَنِّيَنَّهُمْ وَلَآمُرَنَّهُمْ فَلَا يُبَتِّكُنَّ آذَانَ الْأَنْعَامِ وَلَآمُرَنَّهُمْ فَلَا يُغَيِّرُنَّ خَلْقَ اللَّهِ ومن يتخد الشيطان وليا من دون الله فقد خسر خسرانا مبينا يعيدهم ويمنيهم وما يعيدهم الشيطان إلا غرورا and he's also referring to the hadith that we just read right now uh, of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he says فجمع النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم and the Prophet عليه صلى الله عليه وسلم he combined between um, بين الأمرين two matters تغيير الفطرة the distortion and the alternating of and changing the فطرة which is the natural disposition by becoming either Jews or Christians and also changing the creation by mutilating it and they are the two matters it is the two things which Iblis has said that he has to change so he changed the natural disposition of that Allah has placed in the creation with what? Bil kufri with disbelief. And it is changing the way Allah Taala created them. And he also changed their form. Bil wal batki by mutilating and also slitting. ila shirki. So he changed. So he changed the fitra, the natural disposition ila shirki to polytheism wal khilqati and also that which Allah has created and the form in which he created them in ila al batki wal qat'i by splitting and cutting fahada tadhiyuru khilqati al ruhi so one is changing and it is distorting the uh, uh, the creation of the soul and the spirit outside wahada tadhiyuru khilqati sura and one is changing and distorting the image form in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the creation uh, from. So that's the benefit in which I wanted to share with you all bi kareem. I ask Allah he brings the best uh, benefits out of these series that I'm doing. Uh, anything which I have said that was wrong and incorrect is from me and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are free from it. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh.